Uh, the reason for putting forward this motion uh, that your package really accurately describes um, is that the cost of living crisis has escalated to become a cost of living emergency because of inaction from this government. Um, our food banks in Eastbourne are among the busiest uh, in the country. Um, poverty uh, is on the rise uh, in our town. Um, and it is devastating uh, to see so many people uh, slipping into poverty or further into poverty uh, as a result of this inaction. So declaring this emergency is about us in Eastbourne taking a stand. It is about us saying to the government, you need to wake up, smell the coffee, and take serious action uh, to address the cost of living emergency that is making so many people's lives much more difficult. What do I want to see uh, policy-wise in order to address this? I want to see a windfall tax, tax the oil and gas giants that are making record profits uh, and use that to help reduce bills for people by £600 um, a year. I want to see uh, a cut to VAT for a year by 2.5%, which again will put pockets uh, money back into people's uh, pockets. And thirdly, I want to see uh, the triple lock for pensions restored so that pensioners who deserve that cash, every single pensioner in this country, gets uh, that cash uh, to help them through this cost of living crisis. We need the government to wake up here uh, because right now it is very clear that it is out of touch and does not understand the issues that many people across this country are facing. If your motion is successful, are there things perhaps the council themselves could be doing to help out, especially those most in need? Absolutely. And there's many things that Eastbourne Borough Council is doing, having stepped up to support people uh, in need. So, for example, in terms of the uh, rebate that's being offered uh, to uh, individuals, Eastbourne Borough Council uh, is among uh, the fastest in terms of getting that out um, to uh, members of the public uh, based on... Uh, uh, similar processes across the country. But what uh, we've also done at the council is uh, councillors have discretionary budgets that have been used to support fantastic projects uh, across the town that are looking to address this cost of living emergency. Projects like the Langley Larder, for example, uh, that is uh, enabling people to access food uh, at low cost. You said that in Eastbourne you believe your food banks are some of the busiest in the country. What sort of people are going to the food banks? Well, I've uh, done a lot of work uh, with food banks, both in Eastbourne and uh, in, in different parts of the country. And what's very clear is that actually you're only ever um, a paycheck away uh, or losing a paycheck, for example, uh, from slipping um, into a really difficult scenario that can necessitate needing to access uh, food banks. Um, I've spoken to very many people uh, on the doorstep who are accessing food banks for the first time. They didn't envisage that they would be in this scenario, but rising bills have meant that they've been forced uh, to make choices um, about whether um, they as a parent eats, for example, um, or whether their child eats. And of course, uh, parents are choosing to sacrifice their own meals um, in order to make sure that their children do. I'm hearing this time and again, and it's these very individuals, hardworking people um, who um, are being forced uh, into food banks because the government is failing uh, to put the serious solutions in place uh, to support people through this cost of living emergency.